Hey guys, welcome to the Schulte Family Homestead. Cool, strawberries, yay! Um, we have a crap ton of strawberries that we are going to make into jam. So we're going to get it started and uh, hopefully you can watch along with us. Why are we rinsing the strawberries? It's always a good idea to rinse your fruits and vegetables with any dirt, debris, any kind of insecticide that may have been used because these are not organic. Um, so we're just kind of rinsing away. I already picked out a bad one. We'll kind of pick through them and if there's any bad ones as we go, moldy, just super crushed or super bug eaten, then we won't. Um, we won't use those. We will cut those out totally and entirely. With our them, we can cut up some bad spots, but if they're just like really bad all over, we just won't use them at all. My strainer's only so big, so I have to wash them in batches. Again, as you probably have gathered from some of the other videos, um, we do just live in a small house in the middle of the city, so um, we have a very small house and we have to make things work. Limited space, our house in, in general is, doesn't have a lot of counter space and stuff like that, so I'm going to try this straw trick. We've tried that. It didn't work. How are you cutting them? Quartering them? Oh darn, I cut my thumb, I can't do it anymore. I'm just kidding. I didn't really cut my thumb. 70 pounds to go. Why is making strawberries so important to you? Because I know exactly what's in it and I love strawberry jam. I could eat strawberry jam every single day. He's not lying. We made just under half of what we're doing right now last year. And it only lasted about three months in our house. I love strawberry jam. I like grape jelly. <laughs> But I do like strawberry jam on other things than just bread. I make a mean no-bake cheesecake. Goes really good on there. And strawberry shortcakes and pancakes and waffles. We buy pancake mix by like 10 pound bags. So we love pancakes and waffles. They're great on top of that. Also, Fun fact, it was the very first thing that Tony canned. Very true. I tried to start with something easy and it actually turned out not to be the easiest thing I could have started with. There's so much sugar involved. For these 70 pounds of strawberries, we had to buy 50 pounds of sugar to can it all. It's a lot of sugar. Thank you for Costco and Aldi. It's the whole reason we actually bought 70 pounds of strawberries is because Aldi had them on sale for 99 cents a pound. Shout out to Aldi. And they're really good strawberries, so. It's kind of funny. When I went to Aldi doing my normal Friday grocery shopping, and the lady looked at me like I was crazy. She goes, oh, how many do you need? I said, I cases. And, and some of these strawberries are massive. Also. Look, look at the size of that strawberry. Is that a butt crack? It's got a couple of butt cracks. <laughs> If that tells you anything about my sense of humor. Oh. The 
big ones really aren't that good for eating fresh. Oh, but sure for they jam, are. Oh, they're, they're very good for eating. They get a little bit sour. No, they're very good for eating. Chickens eat strawberry scraps. I don't know. It just seems like a waste to throw these in the trash if something could be done. Do chickens eat strawberry scraps? I don't know, but do you guys? Let us know in the comments, because we do read them, and we look forward to them actually, because we're just kind of starting out, so it's really cool to hear from you guys, and just seeing you guys along with us on this journey, and, but I would totally keep these if I knew that some chickens would eat them, because mother-in-law has chickens, and I would give them the scraps, at least something, it, wouldn't just be going in the garbage. Now, for right now, all we're doing is cutting them up and we're going to put them in the freezer because there is no way we can can 70 pounds of strawberry jam in one day, still working full time jobs. So, we're going to get all of these sliced up, put in the freezer, and hopefully, this week we'll get a couple of batches done and that is going to make me very happy eating fresh strawberry jam again but also I don't know if we're really going to have enough freezer oh. space for all of these would you quit throwing the good ones in the back then? <laughs> Bonus points, since this is really my first time on camera, if you can count the amount of times that I say, oh, then we will do a shout out <laughs> in our next video. It's kind of a Midwest slogan joke of saying, oh, and I say it all the time. Fun fact, cutting board that I'm using, Tony made this. It's kind of like a, a hobby. What do you call that? Hobby? Yeah. Um, but no, Tony made this and um, it, just, it, it fits perfectly on a little bit of counter space that I do 100% of my... That was actually by accident. Yeah. We have a very limited counter space in our tiny kitchen and it fits perfectly where I do all my food prep for cooking and stuff like that. It was just, a bad one. He dropped one on the floor. It was bad anyway. Our container's not big enough. Well, it probably just means it's... I don't think we're going to fit 70 pounds of strawberries in there. In the freezer? In here. <laughs> You're done. You're put a, done. Put a fork in it. You're done. So it's day two of strawberry cutting and I convinced my sister, I don't know how, to come help cut the rest of the 40 pounds of strawberries we got. So here she is. So what me and Casey were doing, I'll cut the tops okay. and you can quarter them. Yeah, like the, them? Yeah. Okay. Like the giant ones, cut the smaller than quarters. Like six. Yeah. So like, like is this one just, a big one that you would consider? You want this one at six or four? Okay. But there's like some huge. Oh yeah. Yeah, Melchior. There was. That's fine, Lorelai. I'm not worried about it.
So we are finally on the last 10 pounds of strawberries after another two hours today, two and a half hours yesterday. We can finally be done with cutting them up. Next step will be making jam. Yay! So now that all the strawberries are cut up, my sister had to leave. Uh, I actually didn't realize the camera battery died in the middle of us cutting strawberries because we had a full-blown conversation with the camera before I realized that the battery was dead. But we got the other 40 pounds of strawberries cut up today. And I am in the garage coming to the deep freeze to show you how much 70 pounds gets once it's cut. There is a ton of stuff in here. We have one bag, two bag, three bag, four bag, five bag, six, seven, eight. Some pizza rolls, some buns, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bags. So that should be about 14 batches of strawberry jam. Now, if I have my numbers right, I don't have enough sugar for 14 batches. I have enough sugar for 12 batches. So we might have to get some more. But we are going to let all of those freeze for right now because I don't have time to can it all right now. But in the freezer, I know it's not going to go bad. So... This is going to conclude part one of strawberry jam making. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can get notifications when we post a new video. And as always, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.